Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to User One Productions. My name is David, and in today's Unity tutorial, we're going to be looking at setting up our HUD, uh, our heads up display, or our GUI if you're more into game dev. We're also going to be adding a script to it so it's fully customizable and interactable. As always, my friends, everything you could find in this video is linked in the description down below. I've uploaded everything that we have been using that includes sound effects, scripts, models, textures. It's all on a Google Drive, free the download, no copyright. Also, before I dive into Unity, if you guys find this video entertaining or helpful to you, drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And also let me know in the comments what you want to see come from this series. With all that being said, let's look at the finished product in Unity, and then we'll go over it. You can already see that we have many different aspects inside of here. We have four boxes for an inventory. We have a flashlight right here and a weapon right here, as well as a health bar and a stamina bar. This tutorial series will be setting all this up and we'll be making the weapon icon and the flashlight interactable. Health and stamina we're going to cover in a different series, as well as more inventory down here. This is where I'm hoping to keep little stuff like health items and keys. Let me press play and show you what we're going to be making. So as you see, we load up Unity. We have our crosshair, which is 100% accurate every single time. That little flashlight, if we have been following the series, we made a flashlight. So if you press F, it'll show that the flashlight's on. Turn it off, it shows that it's off. Last tutorial, we created a simple little inventory system. So if I press 2, you'll notice we get the M4 out as well as its little icon down there. Same thing with the Glock and the knife. And then if we all holster it away, it goes away. Perfect. Here we are in our scene before we have added everything. From the download link, I'm going to click and drag Horror Series HUD into the assets right here. Let's take a little peek inside the folder and you'll notice there's a ton of different little icons you can use. First of all, we're going to hold shift and select all of them. And we're going to make sure alpha is transparent. We're going to scroll down. And instead of using default, press this little computer icon and press override. Also, what I like to do is this little I know so level. I change that to five. Once that's finished, press apply. And now you'll notice that they have their transparencies. Let's go over what we have in here. We have our M4, the knife, the Glock, as well as a health bar, stamina bar. I've also made what's called a HUD box, which is that little box that you saw in the bottom left earlier. This is where I'm going to be storing items like keys and such, as well as the flashlight on icon and the flashlight off. I also made this little hand icon for you guys. So instead of looking at the door and it says open door, you guys can set it up to where the hand shows up instead. So that way you know what's interactable. On top of this, I've made three different crosshairs so that way it can fit your game the way you need it to. I've made this regular little circle, this FPS type crosshair where if you're using a gun you might want to use that, and then just a simple cross. This one reminds me of Minecraft. I also have this little bullet icon just in case you guys want to use that in your game somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the FPS controller inside of HUD. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call this UI. And then inside of the UI, I'm going to go UI, and then we want raw image because we're not using sprites. If we were using sprites, we would want an image, but we're just going to use raw image. You'll notice this little box shows up, and this is where we're going to be placing our icon. Before we go any further, though, press this HUD object, and we want to go to Canvas Scaler. We want to make sure that that is scale with screen size. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 just because that's my monitor size and it can scale down proportionally with other monitors. Otherwise, when you go to run the game and say the person is playing in a smaller window, they might not see the UI because it's not scaling properly. All right, now we can go back to that raw image. It'll always default to the center of the screen. You can also kind of change where it goes right here. If you hold Control, Shift, and Alt, it'll move it to that correct orientation. We're just going to Press those three buttons and make sure it is in the center. Should default there, but just in case, I'm teaching you guys that. Now, in this raw image little component right here, I'm going to click and drag crosshair number one, which is going to be that dot. Now, if we max on play, you'll already see that the HUD is coming together very nicely. We already have that little circle in the center. And since we have made that little reach tool, if you guys have been following the series, we made a reach tool. It's right dead center of our camera. So wherever that little dot goes, that reach tool goes. You can see like that, boom. I'm also gonna rename it to crosshair. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna click UI again, bring in another raw image, 
and we're going to be focusing on the HUD box. You'll notice right off the bat, it's not scaling properly. So what we need to do is we need to double click it. It's going to bring us in the sky. And then I'm going to turn on orthographic view. And look at it from the front. I'm going to scroll out. You can see our full canvas right here. So this would be the top right of our screen. This is the top left of our screen and vice versa. Let's look at this box and kind of scale it proportionally. Until it starts to look about right. You can use this little box in the middle as a guide like I am. And now we have a perfect square. Scrolling out, we can now click and drag that exactly where we want. You can see it moving in our game view. I'm not going to bore you with me setting the whole thing up. I'm just going to cut to where I have it all finished. Okay, I have set it up exactly how I want. For my particular game, this is how I want it laid out. You guys might have it different, but the code and everything like that is going to be working the same. I've also gone ahead and named every one of the raw images accordingly. Now we're going to be downloading the HUD script from the description down below. Let's open up uh, Model Develop and actually look at it. I said Model Develop, sorry, I've been in this for a while. I meant Visual Studios. The script is kind of short, but it does exactly what we need it to for now. And later on throughout the series, we'll be improving upon it. So that way more of our HUD can be interactable. Up here under the public class, we have everything we can play around with. Real quick, everything with OB at the end stands for object, and then everything else that doesn't have the OB is going to be the UI. Just wanted to let you guys know that so you guys don't get confused when you're setting it all up. So what we have here is just a ton of game objects that we could turn on and off. At the top here we have our flashlight on and flashlight off. That is going to be the two UIs I created. And also, since we'll be turning on the flashlight, we need the flashlight object to be referenced. This code is going to be looking for if this object is active inside of our scene, then it turns the UI on. That also goes for the M4 UI, Glock UI, and Knife UI, and then their according objects. In the void start, I want to set the flashlight to false. If in your game you have the flashlight turned on immediately, turn this false to true. In my particular game, the flashlight is not turned on automatically. You have to press F to turn it on, so that's why I have it false. Let's scroll on down to the void update. First, we have an if else statement with the flashlight. So it's going to check if the flashlight is active in the hierarchy. And if it is, the on UI turns on and then off will turn false. And then we say else, calling back to this little statement here, else if the flashlight object is not active in hierarchy, flashlight on turns to false and then flashlight off turns on. Okay, and same thing with the M4. If the M4 object is active in the hierarchy, the UI turns on. Else, if the M4 object is not active in hierarchy, the M4 UI turns to false. And that's exactly how it works for the Glock and the knife. Let's go back in the Unity, and then we can actually drag this HUD onto our FPS controller. Scroll down to it, open it up. It's a lot of stuff we have to assign, but we're going to get this done very quickly. Let's just focus on the UI for right now, and then we'll worry about the objects. So flashlight on and flashlight off, that's going to be the two UIs we created right here. Then we pull the M4 UI in. Next, we need the Glock and then the knife. We still have four little slots to add, which are the game objects, the physical little things that are in our game. We can close out of that UI because we won't be using that anymore. Instead, let's open up our inventory and start bringing those in. So obviously, M4 goes to the M4 object. Glock goes to the Glock object and as well as the knife. And then for our final key, we need the flashlight right there, okay? It's very simple to understand. Once it's all set up, you won't have to worry about it anymore. Now, if we press play, everything seems to be going fine. We press F, the flashlight icon turns on, as well as the actual flashlight itself. Turn it off, it turns off. Let's pull out the M4, then the Glock, and then the knife. And everything is working accordingly. I'm just spamming it to make sure there's no bugs and everything seems to be working perfectly. That's just about it for this Unity tutorial, you guys. If you found it entertaining or helpful in any single way, remember to drop me a like. If you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell so that way you don't miss another upload. Also, in the comment section, let me know what you want to see come from this series and if you have any questions about anything. As I said in the beginning, everything is linked in the description for free for download. And with all that being said, guys, this is User1 Production signing off for now. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.